change our behavior, change our perspective, change our perception, change the world. Perceive the threat, accommodate the threat. Maybe there is no way to avoid our destruction, our annihilation. Maybe. What is certain is that we can affect how we fall. We can affect how many rocks we hit on the way down. We can affect how far we fall. We can control the magnitude of the catastrophe at minimum. I think we can do better than that even. That's just a perception, a conclusion I've drawn. You don't have to go through generations to acquire change, perceptual change. It's a different world. Technology has changed the world. There's a lot of circumstances that create a difference. This isn't Rome. This isn't England 200 years ago or 400 years ago. It's a different world. We don't have to repeat history. There's lots of people going in different directions. There's lots of people, a lot of extremists, a lot of people dependent on bullshit. You know, if we're going to have a future, yeah, we have to give up on the idea that we can club people over the head or kill them to uh, persuade them. It's not going to work anymore. It's not sustainable. There's no point in having a conversation to justify the people's moronic dependency on uh, some notion that they have power. We don't have power as individuals. As individuals, we are bullshit. We only have power as a species, as a kind, not as a nation, not as a state, not as a town, but as a species, as an animal, as a creature, as a, as a collection of intelligence. And that has to be our primary perception of ourselves, is our connection to that whole. And then secondarily, we can entertain the stupid individual that lives inside of us. But that perception, I think, can change. People can understand that they have an obligation to the entire structure, that they are a bee in a colony. The colony is threatened. The bees must do their worker business to save the colony. The colony should come first. And on the other side, we have people who just keep ragging about what we don't know. Oh, we don't have the fucking answer to this question. We can't see over the goddamn horizon. Science doesn't have the answers. Blah, 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 blah. It is a crock of shit. We have so many fucking answers. We have all the goddamn important answers. We have come from pond scum. We have a very close relative only a few thousand years ago that was eating bugs and scratching its fucking naked ass. So let's not play games that we don't have answers. We do have answers. We know we have come from bullshit, crap, dirt, sand, mush. We are built by nature and nature is a fucking idiot. We know these things. The only thing that means anything about us, the only thing that separates us from all these fucking animals still eating each other and plaguing each other and blighting each other and parasitically abusing each other is this goddamn motherfucking intelligence. So we know enough to know what our responsibility is. You have to use your goddamn brain, you have to organize, you have to engineer systems. You don't just sit back and see what the fucking thing's going to do on its own. That's idiotic. That's going back to the fucking ass-scratching moron. The world appears like it's getting more fanatic, more religious, but it's just an appearance. Religion is now just politics. Real faith doesn't even exist. It's just bullshit. We can overcome it. We can become human fucking goddamn beings. We can defeat the monster of apathy, of stupidity, of bigotry. That's what all this stuff is based on. The only thing that keeps religion alive is the bigotry built into it. It satisfies people's need to um, tribalize their life, to nationalize their existence, to identify themselves with some bullshit fucking group other than the human fucking race. We are not God's fucking children, and we're not God's fucking slaves, and we're not God's fucking goddamn Play-Doh. We're intelligent animals. Here, we exist, 
Let's do something with it. Let's demonstrate that we have some respect for it. I think change can happen. What the road is, it's going to get us out of here, that. I don't have some GPS guidance system that's just going to say, okay, this is what we do. Here's step A, step B, step C, and bang, it's going to happen. We can get out of this mess. We can avoid disaster. I know there's roads. I don't know it. I can't say that I know it. I, 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 I deduce, I, I have the impression from my knowledge base that we have time and that human beings are capable of doing things. They build goddamn pyramids, for Christ's sakes, before they could even build a decent outhouse. We're capable of things. I don't see any reason to say we can't. I don't see any reason to say the end is coming. Let's all just find a good seat in the stands and watch the horror. Fuck that. We can at least fight for a graceful death if that's what we're doomed to. Human population growth, make it a priority. Reduce the number of people at least that will be involved in the fucking Holocaust. Any asshole having kids now is just that, a fucking asshole. To sentence them to apocalypse? I mean, what the fuck sense does that make? If you can't provide for their existence, you're being irresponsible and you cannot provide for their motherfucking future because you can't guarantee there's gonna be a fucking unradioactive cesspool for them to live in. I see purpose in pursuing this, and so you know, I'm going to start numbering these videos too. The first argument I guess I would make is that you know you see it everywhere lately. You know, last you know using the videos I've been watching lately, is everybody is referring to history as proof that something can't happen. History proves it, even though history demonstrates that there is no circle. There is this forward movement. The world radically changes. 